like to use um like there's this there's a phrase uh, you know when talking about like collective care um in our society like in our societies especially from like the culture from which i come um often certain members of a family are left with all the care for example mothers um and so for me like a culture of encounter in my own understanding would be a situation whereby we move like compassionately a certain kind of radical compassion where we're able to imagine a different person's perspective a different person's situation um and um you know alleviate their body in many ways i feel i i believe that when burdens are shared like you know the, the weight becomes the weight becomes lighter um so for me in those like my understanding of of that would be just a certain kind of sensitivity like deeper sensitivity um being able to look at people for who they are and um you know um removing at least many other uh, i don't know um adjectives that might come with them um and to see oh you know who, where has this person been to where 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 are they coming from like on trying to under, understanding people's stories listening to people's stories um actually seeing people which the order we get at least the order i get i know becomes increasingly difficult because there's a way in which hearts can kind of you know make us look inward and we forget to look at the other person but and so it's 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 actually a decision a choice that that that, will, that people would have to make yeah something i noticed upon coming to america um maybe just a little anecdote um it was snowing as you i'm sure you know that iowa is just the snow capital of the world <laughs> but it was snowing and like it or it had snowed and the, the the um the sidewalks were slippery and this woman walked down and she slipped and fell and immediately everybody looked away from her and it was like as though people were embarrassed on her behalf but that their reaction to that embarrassment was to look away um and which was strange to me because i was coming from a place where if something like that happened like everybody would actually just turn towards you um and so for me i i understood it in terms of like um like across cultures people have different ways of showing compassion of like you know um of reaching out to one another um but something that struck me while i was looking this up was the fact that you know like that, that that reaching out to someone else is actually an intentional act and it can be difficult a lot of times to be able to reach out in that way um so like yeah wherever possible um like and for me also um having having interacted with people from you know from 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 senegal who who spoke french and um and being able to form human connections with very limited language like would you know sometimes when you're, you're sitting in a room with someone and you're like just texting and that text in via google translate <laughs> and you know that's um the need to still connect to someone even with a barrier as large as language right um and actually finding that connection um it just makes me kind of i know it's kind of it feels sentimental but in those moments i felt like deeply connected and i felt like hopeful um about the world because if if someone if i and someone else could go out of our ways go out of our way to understand and connect with each other despite um our different languages then you know then then something good is possible <laughs> i don't know yeah before i left nigeria and came to the us i i came out um and part of my coming out involved having a conversation with my parish priest um I was raised Anglican and so my so it was an Anglican priest and um <clears throat> it was a difficult conversation because we 
but also very a surprising conversation because we were coming from different ends. Here was this person who was responsible for what, at least for that parish, um, was responsible for teaching what the church said was the truth, right? And here I was, someone who used to sing in the choir, telling him, "Hey, I am a gay man, and I am, I am not ashamed of it." Um, and this, these are the ways in which I think these are the ways in which you are wrong. And these are the ways in which your teachings have hurt me. And it was interesting that even in our disagreement, there was like, I, I could see at the end of the conversation that nobody had, nobody had challenged his perception of the issue. And so for me, that's, that's very important. There is, um, there is always a temptation to, to run away or to flee. Um, these like uncomfortable places and by all means people should be should be able to live uncomfortable situations um but because i grew up with deep love for for the choir for the community in which i was raised i stayed longer and and that gave me the opportunity to actually have that conversation and um just seeing the fact that you know and i think part of what happened in that conversation was that i at some point I decided, okay, I'm going to be as vulnerable as possible with this person. I'm going to tell him my story. And so part of the conversation we're, we're talking about, we had arguments about, you know, parts of the Bible and but it was just the both of us disagreeing. But the moment it became personal, the moment I said, okay, let me tell you about my journey, um, something changed. I do not know if his mind changed on that day, but I know that something had shifted in his consciousness. I know like living living one's home can be immensely difficult. Um, and I don't know for people who have never had to make that um to make that move to say oh, I'm living an entire country, I'm living an entire place where my roots are. Um, there's a feeling of loss that it's especially when you're coming from a place that is impoverished and you're um and that's that's sort of the that and like you know, the only reason for your move was, you know, just to improve the quality of your life um because people move for various reasons so if that is one of the reasons of your move it can it can feel as though you've been sort of uprooted from a place um and then coming to a new place um where of course a lot of people well-intentioned wanting to support do not actually understand what that journey feels like um if you can you can you can feel suddenly feel yourself like there's something you just begin to float right um because understanding understanding matters so i think one area um <clears throat> that i would love to see this go like it's like what, what's what's the experience of um just like immigration right um and all forms of immigration whether it's you know people um moving because as refugees or um people moving for school and just what it means to be in a new place and how people of all cultures can try to understand um, people who are visitors in their homes um, and to at least make their lives more, um, make, make the feeling of uprootedness less, less painful, you know?